So I was, I, I was saying how I don't read. Um, just I have a very short attention span. Like it's just, it's just something as an adult now I, ex I accept. And a lot of people are like, oh, have you read this and that? I'm like, no. Right. <laughs> like I just don't, you know. Uh, but when I do choose to at least look at some things, I do believe you're right. Like it validates. Like some things I'm just like. I'm not reading for you to teach me. Right. I'm just reading out of interest and it just happens that it converges. Like I think like that. Or maybe there will be a nugget in there once in a while that I'm like, I never thought of it that way. Exactly. But nine times out of 10, I, th I think you're really, uh, you're really right that it, it just kind of validates uh, some of your mannerisms or what you're thinking about. Um, so the name of the docu-series is called Flashpoint. And I, okay. I purposely didn't tell you uh, about it because I don't like to prepare. So. Flashpoint, well, you're in, av you in aviation, but Flashpoint's right. a temperature at which fuel will combust. Of course, exactly. All right, uh, given an ignition source. So I believe that uh, we all have flashpoints in our lives, like things that drastically changed uh, our trajectory, whether it's personal or professional, something that just is just an instrumental moment. Um, so for me, for example, I always give examples of, you know, when I went to combat or the first time I was shot at, you know, I, I realized, I wasn't scared at all. I was more like, how dare you, right, <laughs> you know? Right. Or uh, when I had some friends pass away, you know, earlier than I thought they ever would, you know, and how that affected me. And that's why I have really emotionally tied relationships to people I work with or the people below, not below me, but you know, the people I work around me. Um, so anyway, um, and those things all really, those events influenced how I am and what I do and everything like that. Do you have anything that comes to mind, um, a significant event and how it kind of shaped who you are today? No, I think, uh, you know, two of those things you just mentioned, Richard, I think are happened in my life. Uh, you know, when I was 20 years old, I lost a, a very good friend. Mm -hmm. You know, we worked together. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was supposed to come over to my house for dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, ended up going to a baseball game mm -hmm. to scout out the team because yeah. we played on the base team. Okay. Uh, out of nowhere, a uh, storm came, blew out the dugout. And basically, you know, he was he was killed. Wow. So I think that realizing that, you know, something can be lost that quickly without expectation, you know, and then you know taking his body home, uh, having to deal with his mom and dad. And I, I flew his body home and had that detail. You know, that kind of that kind of changed the way I, I see things. And you know, from that moment on, I knew that, you know, it can be taken away from you in a second, yeah. uh, you know, through no fault of anything, yeah. you know, stuff happens. Uh, and then, you know, when you mentioned combat, I spent a year and one month in the first desert, desert storm, mm -hmm. you know, and, and going through that, going through the paces, you know, there's nothing nice about, you know, war whatsoever. Yeah. But in order, you know, what we did, you know, because the military is training, training, training. You train for that day. Yes. So to be able to be cut loose to do your job, you know, and to realize that everyone else is doing their job at 100%, you know, and it all comes together, it's a very cool thing. It's a very cool thing. You know, it's and best. it's exactly. And, you it's know, it's like terrible. Right, it's terrible. Right, right. But it's the best. <laughs> of course, because people say, oh, how, you know, how can you say, you know, it's cool but going to war? But to see people function at that level, yeah. you know, I mean, it's sleep deprived whatever, you know, just getting the job done, everybody pulling together, the camaraderie, you know, and everything else, you know, those are things that, you know, I took forward into, into what I do today. So that's, I agree. I mean, I, I know it to be true and uh, I agree a hundred percent. So I'll follow up with this and then we could end there is, I find it very hard to explain that kind of camaraderie. I, I find it hard to convey like what it's like to have lost a lot of people that you knew um, or just how dedicated you have to be to the mission and how it's, it's just different. Right. How do you, like how did you come to terms with that so to speak on, on the outside? Because you can't duplicate it. No. Like you can't, like no matter how good you are, you right. cannot duplicate it. So what is the second best option or what is the approach you have? Because obviously it's, it's fared you very right. well, but like, what's the approach? I think it's, it's just it's like treating people the way I want to be treated, mm -hmm. uh, giving them the time and the, and the respect, and, and really 
showing them the reason why they do what they do. Yeah. You know, whether whether you're with me for a week, a year, you know, I want you to always be learning. I love to pass knowledge on. You know, make an individual better today than they were yesterday. Completely. And I think if you do that, you know, then then then, then people, you know, realize that hey, you know, I'm 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 learning. You know, I've been given knowledge, and you know, if I move on from here, then my chances of doing well somewhere else. You know, we have people recruit our people all the time because they see them working in the, in, the, in the restaurants. They see the energy that they have, the dedication that they have, and they say, you know what, I want you. So they come up to them and they approach them, and you know, which you know, it's kind of hurts a little bit, but it's also but it's flattering, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're, you know. You know, you, you spend a lot of time training someone, but then you also want to see people, you know, go out there on their own, grow, and 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 do well. Yeah. You know, so you know, I think I think that makes I think that makes a big difference, and that's always been, you know, my approach on things. I have a similar approach, and like my uh, a personal motivator for me is is to try and and just make sure that whenever I meet someone, they had a positive experience, like. They could they could take away and be like that that was a good interaction or that was right. good working together or or whatever it is uh, because otherwise and and you're, I think you as the individual who's in the leadership position are able to really know whether you're you're doing it or not you know or whether you're half-assing it or giving everything and, right. and like you said giving knowledge um, that that is something on the civilian side that has been really difficult for me uh, and I think it's something you mentioned all the way back like you had a really good resume. You know, they're overqualified or you might take their job. Right. So uh, I think some people in some situations will hoard knowledge or not let you in on or give you the business acumen because they're just like, oh, well, it's only a matter of time. Exactly. <laughs> so so anyway, um, so what are the big plans or what, what are the 10 restaurants that you're going to be opening this year or what do you have left for this year? Well, this year we've got left is uh, we just opened Orland Park. Okay. We go, we open up uh, Smith Haven in Connecticut yep. in uh, two weeks. Uh, we open up uh, Boise, Idaho, mm -hmm. in about wow. hopefully two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we've got Concord, mm -hmm. and uh, that's out in yeah. California, okay. and we've got another one in California as well. Wow, um, I mean, I don't know how similar they are or aren't, uh, but is there one that you like to visit or that you visited that you're like I could just? Well, I think you know my <laughs> my favorite always going to be the first store yeah. that I started because that was, you know, that was from dirt. To inception, you know that's my baby. That's the one that, you know, the one in uh, the one in Miami. Yeah. Uh, so that's a, a beautiful store. It's a, it's a circular store. Mm -hmm. uh, has a huge rotunda upstairs. Wow. Uh, you know, so that's always been, you know, that's always been my favorite one. Uh, I, I always say last question, but this this one for sure. I, I always have more. I've been asking you about your leadership and how you lead and everything like that, but here you are, uh, you came in kind of at you know lower management level, you just talked about how it went from dirt to inception, right. it's still there, now there's 60, right? You said 60, uh, and, and here you are. Tell me about the leadership you've been exposed to that has helped you elevate to levels that you didn't probably couldn't have done alone. No, I think it's, uh, you know, it's my boss having to trust in me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're, uh, you know what I like about it? It's it's the way I grew up. Mm -hmm. You know, very straightforward. Yeah. You know, so there's no sugarcoating anything. Mm -hmm. Everything is 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 direct. And I think if you are direct, and you know exactly where you stand. Mm -hmm. So I think that's you know been able to to allow me to grow. Uh, you know, the company allowed me to use my personality, my skills, and like I said, having the trust in me to do what they need to get done. Uh, the same individual who brought me over here said what I noticed and I swear I wasn't even asking him questions <laughs> like he, he thought I was coming for a job interview right. <laughs> <laughs> you know not 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 uh, to interview and um, and he was saying uh, something along the lines of when someone has an idea and they could say this is why it would work here's why it might not work um, you know but I think it has this percentage right. chance of working he goes we probably see that idea in, in motion, you know, sometime down the road. Like there's, it seems like there's a lot of trust in the capacity to take on the personalities, like you said. Right. I mean, like, and, and why is that? Like how, how, how is? Well, it's just, uh, I, think it's the, I think it's the culture of the ownership. It's our culture. We, you know, 
uh, we can implement what well, I like, and that's why I'm still here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's no nonsense. We can implement change mm -hmm. in 24 hours if we need to mm -hmm. for the better. You know, we, we table all ideas. We take a look at things. There's no, you know, there's, 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 there's no committees and boards and meetings and we got to discuss this and get this. You know, it's, it's like in the military. You, you know, you need to do something, you know, you, you get the orders and you execute. Awesome. You know, so that's why, you know, when I met Salim, you know, 17 years ago and I saw the vision because at the time they only had four restaurants. But, I, you know, I saw their vision. I saw where they wanted to go. I saw the culture uh, and I said, hey, I want to be I want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to sit down and help grow this to where we are now. I can tell you it has trickled down for sure from like the few people I've talked to. People seem happy. People seem working hard. I mean, you were supposed to pick me up today. You were busy, so someone else came, and he's like complete pride in that. He's right. like, oh yeah. Like, I mean, it was nuts. He's like, oh, when are you when are you gonna be here too? And then we talked about what I do, and it was just, I could just tell that something really special is going on. Um, there's a, a another interviewer. His name's Mark, or um, a gentleman, Mark, who I've interviewed, and and it's just he's right sometimes you just walk in and you just kind of feel it and, and it seems like you have things going very well here so i wish you guys all the best thank you very and much and i thank you very much for your time and your no service problem. in the interview thank you so, i enjoyed it all right all right